Hello, and welcome to the Game Dev Quickie. This episode's topic is, Tilemap Pathfinding. Let's get right to it. We use this Globals Helper class to access frequently used game properties easily. The Input Manager provides the mouse controls. We have a Base Sprite class to draw a texture and get its bounding rectangle. And the Game Manager to bind everything together and help with testing. OK, let's start coding. First, we create a tile class to represent a map piece. It can be marked as blocked or as an active path. Clicking the tile will switch its block state. The color will help us recognize the tile state. And a standard draw method. The next class is a map. It has a size measured in tiles. And a size of one tile in pixels. Then a set of methods to translate between map and screen coordinates. The constructor initializes the data and creates the map tiles. The update and draw methods are straightforward. Let's take a look at how the map looks. We can edit the map by clicking. Red tiles are blocked, and we can't move through them. We will use this simple editor to test the pathfinding. So, let's get to the Pathfinder class. It uses a node class that represents a point on the map. We will construct a node graph based on the tile map. Each node has map tile coordinates and two other variables. A parent is a neighboring node on the shortest path to the starting node. And the visited flag marks already discovered nodes. That will make more sense when we get to the search algorithm. We have a node map, a reference to the tile map, and helper arrays with four orthogonal directions. Methods to set the tile map and to check if the coordinates are within bounds. Let's create a node map now. We iterate through every tile and reset the path flag. Then we initialize a node for that tile. If the tile is blocked, we set it as already visited. Finally, we got to the search. We will use the breadth first search or BFS algorithm. We start by creating the node map and initializing a queue. The queue holds all the nodes to search for a path. We need a starting point. For our example, we use the top left corner tile and add it to the queue. Then we start a loop until there is something in the queue. If the currently dequeued node is the goal tile, we found a path and can begin retracing it. Otherwise, we look at all neighboring nodes. If the node is unvisited, we add it to the queue. Set it as visited and the current node as its parent. Unless we find a path, we return null. Now, the retracing process. We will go back from the goal node to the starting node. We use a stack to remember the path. Using the while loop, we go through the nodes linked by parents and marking the tiles as a path on the way. Finally, we convert the stack into a list and return it. Let's visit the tile class. We add the map coordinates to the tile and call the pathfinding to this tile on right click. We need to update the map constructor and the game manager. Okay, let's test it. We quickly define a map, then find a path by right clicking. Let's add a hero to walk along the path. You will find the whole code in the description. Perfect. This algorithm is easy to understand and simple to implement. It performs well on reasonably sized maps. But it works only with equally valued nodes. We will take a look at a more complex algorithm in the future. Let me know how you like this episode. You can find the code in the description. Have a topic you would like to see next? Please, share it in the comments. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.